Welcome to the Cosmic Busker. My name is Bobby Cody. The left will cause mass starvation in America. So I've contemplated doing this video for a long, long time because this is something that I've seen coming for years. Uh, and I want to talk about that. And uh, this is, I finally decided to do this video based on a news article. News article came out uh, about starvation in America and its potential in the future. And at that point, once I read it, I said, I, I got to do a video on this because I've been talking about this for years to people and I'm going to give you an example and then we're going to talk about this news article. So I want to talk about this example first. This first happened when Trump got elected. Uh, this was on Facebook before I deleted my Facebook. Uh, I deleted Facebook because of censorship. You censor, and uh, you know that's 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 a trigger for me. Uh, it's not, it's not appropriate behavior in America for an individual business or a uh, government organization to do. So I deleted my Facebook. But at the time I was on just before that I was on Facebook, and I was arguing. Trump had just been elected, and I was arguing with a friend of mine. Uh, who I will ruin, the person will ruin, remain nameless. Uh, and this person was with the resistance movement, anti-Trump, radical, was talking about shutting down America. Or particularly, excuse me, shutting down New York City. Uh, this person is from New York City. So, uh, you know, I said, you're going to shut down New York City. He said, yeah, it's the resistance. We're going to shut down New York City. Nothing's going to move or this. I said, Think about what you're doing. Do you have any idea? Do you know what you're doing? She's like, yeah, we know what we're doing. It was a resistance. We're going to sh get Trump out of office. We're going to shut down New York. I said, you know, are you, are you kidding? Do you know what will happen? She's like, yeah, Trump will lose office. I said, no, no. I said, you have no idea the tenuous nature of the food supply chain that comes into any city, in particular New York City. You will starve to death. You shut down New York, that means there's no police, there's no, no law enforcement, no trucks are coming into New York City. Forget about it. There's going to be no, within three days, people will start starving. Within a week, people will be, um, excuse me, something popped up on the phone that I'm recording. But within a week, people will be eating each other. I, I, I mean, uh, you have no idea what you do. She's like, oh, would we'll, we'll you grow our own food? I'm like, you're in Manhattan. What few acres of land in Manhattan are you going to use to grow food for a few of you? I, I, so, you know, I, I can, I've seen this coming and I've warned about it. So now, and then uh, once Black Lives Matter came out, um, and, you know, uh, personally, you know, I have no problem with the slogan. I, I agree with the slogan, Black Lives Matter, you know, White Lives Matter, Red Lives Matter, Yellow Lives Matter, All Lives Matter. I have no problem with the slogan Black Lives Matter. I do have a problem with the organization. It's because of what they want to do. In particular, what they want to do is not just defund police, but they want to remove police completely. People don't think logically through the conclusions of what they want and what will happen if they get both of what they want. Um, and that's why I'm like, what did you, uh, you know, and I see people, you know, putting this movement slogan up all the time. And I've been thinking for, for, you know, since this first happened with George Floyd, I've been thinking, don't they know if, if this organization gets what they want, they're all dead. They're all dead of starvation. And it's because they want to remove police. You remove police from any city within three days, it's starvation. Um, absolutely. There's no trucks are going to go in there and deliver food in there because they're going to get hijacked and they're putting their lives at risk. None are going to. And I've known this and I've been wanting to speak to this for a long time. This news article finally came. Um, so I'm going to read from this right now. As I read from it, I got the article here on my phone. Uh, I'm going to pop up the news article, those screenshots, so you can read along with me. Um, it starts off, a uh, trucking company owner says cities that defund police are in for a big surprise. Cities that decide to cut their police funding could be cutting their own supply lines too. 
That was the message a trucking executive carried to Fox and Friends first on Wednesday. And it's something urban politicians in the thrall of Black Lives Matter rioters and Antifa art anarchists should be seriously considering unless they think citizens can start growing their own food. Because it's not safe for truckers to carry goods, they just might not do it. And trucking companies won't be willing to risk the business. Our first priority is to support our drivers and their safety when they're on the road, Mike Kucharski co-owner of Summit, Illinois-based JKC Trucking, told the Fox program. Defunding the police is a bad idea because when you're on the road, you have, you're for weeks and days at a time driving 11 hours with valuable cargo. Everybody wants to steal this. On the road, Kucharski said, there's no safe place. Violence is everywhere. So if you're going to be having valuable car cargo and there's going to be no police to rely on, who's going to protect our drivers? The states that are going to defund the police, we're not going to go because we're trying to avoid those states for safety reasons. These drivers have the right to refuse a load because they are worried about their own safety, Kucharski told conservative Wisconsin-based radio host Vicki McKenna in a June 30 interview, according to a JKC trucking news release. If these drivers all refuse to go into these areas, the food supply chain collapses. There's going to be no more essential goods. The people in these states are going to run out of food. Then there's going to be complete chaos. I'd say 72 hours and that's it. The party's over. And it isn't just the hot spots like Minneapolis, where the self-important city council has already voted to begin the process of dismantling the police department. Or New York, where leftist mayor Bill de Blasio and a leftist city council are apparently more interested in painting the words Black Lives Matter on the street than protecting actual black lives with adequate police officers. Look, there's a reason I titled my um, video the way it did. The left has a long history of causing mass starvation. Uh, the two largest genocides ever uh, in the 20th century, uh, Ukraine, I think it was, I'm not sure the number, six to 10 million, I think, died of starvation in Ukraine in the old Soviet Union. Uh, it was communist and Soviet Union caused starvation. Once again, in communist China, I don't know the numbers. I know it's tens of millions, maybe a hundred million, but Mao Zedong and his communist Chinese, mass starvation. Uh, the left has either no idea what they're doing or they're malicious. It just depends on the individual. Uh, don't be one of these individuals. Don't vote for these individuals. Push back on these individuals when they push these stupid ideas that will cause mass starvation uh, because uh, all of our lives at stake. Thanks for watching and listening. Like, share, subscribe, com comment, and everybody have a good day. Thanks.